Good day, good day. Alex and Deanna here, and this is our third video on our Portugal series uh, in January to February 2023. We're in Faro, and our last video had us uh, just arriving there and having our first meal. And we start here with our first walk around and look around lovely Faro. It was just a short walk from our Airbnb apartment into the center of the town, which is primarily pedestrian only, which was lovely. And uh, it might not have been the most beautiful sunny day, but it was certainly very comfortable. And we enjoyed our walk around, looking around, poking our nose here and there, and seeing what there was to see. So we have a supermarket here. What's super about it is it's 99% booze, especially port. I wonder why. And while we enjoyed this very much, we shortly ended up uh, near the marina. And the marina, just outside the marina, that we found a photographic art exhibit that made us think. It wasn't just a vacation. It made us think about the things going on right now in the Ukraine. Here's a little bit of that photographic exhibition. Those sobering thoughts in the back of our mind we continued on with our exploration of Faro into the marina. And a lot of places these days they have their sign. And I think we found the missing mermaid from Copenhagen. It being early January, uh, Christmas decorations were still up around town. Here's one of them. They're very good at stopping for crosswalks here too. I have never before seen a muzzle on a sheep. Following Mr. Google, or Miss Google, or whatever, we find ourselves on a residential street named after a professor and journalist from 1847 to 1920. We find the architecture quite interesting, especially coming from a place where properties are wide open to a place where everything like a lot of places we've been to and visited, everything is shut down. And here's something we don't see at home. Although I've seen in other places in, in Europe, especially in Bulgaria. But the storks are here. I guess they're not busy today. But it was interesting to see them and, uh, and, and listen to them tap, tap, tap their beaks. While at dinner our first night, he had asked our uh, server uh, about interesting places to go to in Faro. And she mentioned the Chapel of Bones, a chapel that was uh, constructed yeah, of the, the bones of monks over the uh, centuries. Bones. And uh, it happens to be at this monk church, bones. the Igreja do Carmo. So we had to take a look. 
On first walks through a quite pretty church, then out into the gardens where what for most of us a rather macabre sight uh, awaits us, and it's just along here where we begin to see or the entrance of the Chapel of Bones. Interesting reminder of, I guess that's where we will all end up, well not in those walls, but how we will all end up. Uh, inside is thousands and thousands of them. Walking back through town, we came across the castle. A very popular tourist spot. And we walked along the walls to get a good view of the city. Again, it was a lovely day. It was a little bit warmer than it is at home at this time of year. And we had a, a good time wandering around for an hour or two. Of course, while we had the opportunity, we couldn't miss out on taking a train trip. I mentioned before about dirty windows. I'm surprised the driver can even see. And here we were about to take the regional train from Faro to Tavira. It's only about half an hour, if I recall. But the Faro station here is the southern terminus of the intercity routes from Lisbon and other points along the way. This is our regional train and our initial experience with trains in, in Portugal was well good in terms of the transportation. Um, we like to take pictures out the windows and a lot of the windows on these trains look like they hadn't been cleaned in some time. Uh, maybe I'm being a little harsh here given the conditions that uh, they travel through. And as I walk a little further along the platform, way off to our left across the water, that's the airport. It's only three kil kilometers by road from here, so everything is within easy reach. Hmm, looks like grain silos just on this side. Faro does sport a beach, but it being a little inland, the way to the beach, the principal way to the beach, is by ferry down the river. And at this time of year, while the ferry was running, we decided we didn't really need to go down there. We did take a nice long look as we passed by on the train. The Tavira train station is small but very pretty and inside the small waiting room is a beautiful example of Portuguese uh, tile art and I had to stop in and look at that.
we wandered downhill towards the river and enjoyed poking our noses here and there in the cafes and stores and noticed at one point a stairway that indicated the fort was up there so up we went and we ended up in a beautiful garden in the fort with beautiful views over the town. Looking at the weather report for home. Huge storm. After that, we had a lovely lunch, we wandered around some more, sat and had a little coffee, and back, went back up to the train station, heading back to Faro for the night. It was a fun day.